What's up guys, it's Paradox here, playing something new today, this is Subnautica, um, I've actually played this game before, um, I actually really love this game, I think it's beautiful, um, but it's been about a year since I played it, so there's been a bunch of changes that have come through, um, a lot of new areas, a lot of new stuff, so I figured we'd go on this adventure together. Um, I did start a game this morning, um, just to check it out to see what everything was like. Uh, but we're going to start a brand new one. We're going to go survival. Which, this should be interesting because I usually play, when I used to play Subnautica, I would just play on um, free mode or whatever, where you didn't have to eat or drink anything. But this should be a little more challenging, should be a little bit more fun. For those of you who have not seen Subnautica, this is an amazing video, uh, game. Uh, the sound is phenomenal, the music is great. Um, the graphics are just, they just blow you away. Watch this little intro here, so you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what's going on with the game. Oh my god, there's the ship. No! It just blew up. Wonderful. Oh my god! Ah, we're upside down! Oh! That had to have hurt. It's like Twister all over again. Oh my god, there's a giant fire. Let me out! Let me out! Okay. So, I think I want to grab this fire extinguisher, most likely. Luckily, it did not get damaged in the... <laughs> so, let's put this fire out. We're safe! Yay! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this looks so much different than it used to. The PDA, uh, it, the interface just looks a lot better. And it looks like we have numbers and stuff for our different values, like our health, our food, and our water, and our O2, which is really nice. All right. This is pretty neat. This is a medical fabricator. It constantly makes med kits for free, which is super sweet. Um, so this is our actual fabricator where we can make all of our things. Um, we're not going to make anything right now, obviously, because we don't have any materials. We just have a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher. But we're going to go out in the world here in just a second and go find some stuff. Well, let's see if there's anything in our storage container. Nutrient blocks. I'll take those and a couple of waters. Well, I might leave the nutrient blocks because we'll figure out food here in a minute. These are flares. Not really super important. Leave them there for now. Let's go look at the world. What happened? Oh. My god. We were just cruising along in the sky. And now we're not. <laughs> now we're on the uh, water of an alien planet it looks like it's just covered completely in water so I mean I guess there's not much else to do than try to explore in the water let's go check it out Wow see what I mean this this game is just so it's so beautiful and they've made a lot of like rendering improvements too which is really neat so I'm gonna grab one of these guys. These are peepers, and they are the best when it comes to um, providing food. I think it's like 33 from a cooked peeper. You get 33 food. We're also gonna grab a couple of these because we're gonna need these later to make batteries. So we're just gonna grab a few of them. And then these guys. These are bladder fish. These are the only fish that you can get 
filtered water from. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was a crash fish. So, those live in caves. And, oh, they live in these things. You just saw that right there. Um, he's going to explode and hurt me. Yep. But, the advantage of those things, here's what's really cool, is like, once you get them to come out of their little, whatever the hell these things are, they leave behind cave sulfur, which is really important. You need that for um, some items. So... This right here is metal salvage. This is all over the place. So you can get four titanium per metal salvage. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute here. Oh, there's another crash fish. We need to try to get out of here. They're going to kill us. Ooh. Luckily, we did not get hurt that time. All right. So let's go make... S oh, there's some quartz. We'll get that real quick. We should probably look for some salt, too, while we're out here. So the salt will allow us to cook the peepers, the fish, um, but they cure them that way. So if you just cook them normally, um, they'll actually like rot over a time period, over a period of time, which obviously is not preferable, right? You want it to be able to stay as long as possible. So the salt allows it to stay longer, but the disadvantage there is that um, because it's salty at that point, it makes you thirsty, so it reduces your water. But water's easy to come by. You just got to find those bladder fish. So we're just going to cure them. We're going to cure all our peepers. We'll look a little bit more here for some more salt. Okay, so down here it's saying break limestone. So this is another part of the game. Um, so these are little deposits. And in them are different things. This one has lead in it. Um, but this one, let's see. This one has titanium. What we really need is copper. That's what I really want to find. There's right, another crash fish. I'm going to get out of here. So the copper will allow us to make stuff, like electronic stuff. You'll see here in a minute when I get in. Get some more of this quartz here. Let's look for some more of those limestone deposits. Because if we can find, like I said, if we can find some copper, we can actually start to do some things. Which is pretty important. <laughs> we want to make progress. Oh, there's one right here. Copper! Yeah! Let's find a little bit more. Nice! 11%! Alright! <laughs> I like survival. So these are cool. These are brain coral. So they actually release little bubbles of oxygen. So if you're like, like right here, it's not super important because the surface is right there. But these are all over the place. Sometimes they're really deep. And so you can kind of make those like a source of oxygen instead of having to go up to the surface constantly. Um, if you're down deep and exploring, like you could just keep exploring down there, which is nice. I feel like we may have already looked here. We haven't looked down here though, that's for sure. There's some salt, we'll take that. More copper, yes. Oh, we may not make this. Oh, we may not make this. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna die. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. So those are stalkers. Those are hostile, um, hostile creatures. Uh, they do play a, a larger role in the late game, um, but we'll talk about that later. It's not really for right now. Some weird noises down here. Eat something. Uh, okay. Well, I will when we get back. Don't worry. It's okay. Is there more? Deposits? Oh my gosh. Okay. I can't explore down here. 
I need to get an oxygen tank before I try to explore down here. Definitely. I did see one more deposit though, like right here. Yeah. Hopefully we get copper out of it. Nope, titanium. That's okay, because we still need titanium. It's lead that I don't, I'm not really interested in right now. Although we will be soon. There's some more copper. Oh, here's another deposit. Yay, titanium. Up, 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 up. Okay, it's becoming nighttime. So it's going to make it really hard to see these things. But here's some right here. Nice, actually. This would work out well. There's some more copper. Yes, we need as much copper as we can get, honestly, because we're going to be making all kinds of stuff. Now we don't need any more lead at all, for sure. Like that's We have two lead. That's all we need. More copper. Titanium. So if we find any more lead, we're just not going to pick it up. And the game is locked up. There we go. Okay. I hope this isn't too dark for the video. Seeing as this is my first recorded video on YouTube, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. Hopefully it'll be okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's head back to the pod. And we'll see what we can build. We should be able to build quite a bit now with the stuff that we have. Let's get uh, this little guy right here. Okay, him and him. Yes. Uh, we'll take one more peeper if we can get him. Nope, inventory full. Okay, that's fine. Let's just pop up in the pod. Take a look at our fabricator. And as you can see, here's like sustenance. Water, cooked food, cured food. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and cure these peepers up. So that's all the salt we had, apparently. So we're going to make a couple... Okay. Make some water from these bladder fish. I think we might be able to make one more. Yeah. Alright, so what else can we make now? So we should be able to really close, or we should be close to making, yeah, we just need two salt deposits to make the repair tool, which is really important. And the scanner, which is also really important, we might be able to make right now, actually. Yeah, because here's a battery. So let's go ahead and make that scanner, because the scanner will help us to scan blueprints of things. You'll, you'll see here shortly. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, computer. <laughs> so, let's see here. What can we put away? Because we are full. So we need to eat, actually. So we'll eat this cooked peeper. We'll eat a cured peeper. And what the hell, we'll eat another one. Let's drink some water to get ourselves filled up. Um, we'll pop these acid mushrooms in here for later. That guy, we'll throw this guy on our hot bar so we have it. Easy access. Um, the lead can go in there because we'll use it later. Um, the copper ore can go in there for now and the quartz can. And so these are the metal salvage. That'll we'll turn those into a titanium later, but we'll put them in there for now. Because right now we're really just kind of interested in um, we need to find more salt so we can make that repair tool. Once we make that repair tool, we can start fixing up the life pod there. Um, just be in a general better situation. might grab one of these guys just so I have him. Yes. Uh, so, do you see any salt anywhere? I don't. It's got to be here somewhere though. Oh no.
Oh no. Oh, so those guys there, they're called gas pods. Um, and so they're pretty gross. They like shoot out these little balls from their butt. Uh, see? And then they explode into like these fart clouds and they hurt you. So, interesting addition to Subnautica. <laughs> And that, so when you hear those crazy noises, that's actually what you're hearing is those guys. That's their, their thing. So let's get some oxygen. I know that there's some sea glide blueprints down here, which will help us out a lot if we can make one of those. We'll be able to move around a lot faster. So I think there's one inside this little bin here. There surely is. Yes. And there should be another one laying around here somewhere. So I don't know if you noticed the top left-hand corner there, it showed one out of two found. So that lets you know how many you need to find before you can actually make the item. So we found one. I just need to find one more. Wow. Yeah, we really need to make an air tank. This is, uh, this is pretty bad. So when we get back to the pod, we'll take a look to see what it's going to take to make an air tank. Alright. So I don't see any more. Oh, there's one right there. So you can see another bin here, and you can see inside of it has another blueprint. We can now make the sea glide, which is going to help us out a lot. Oh, there's some salt. Yes, yes, yes. So I think... Oh, let's see. Well, let's just see. We'll go back to the pod and see what it takes to make um, the air tank. I think I'm going to need to get fiber mesh, which it comes from um, those creep vines over there. There's really tall plant-looking things over there. Ooh, salt. Alright, so that means we can make our repair tool now, which is pretty exciting. We do need to find more salt, though, so we can actually cook some more food, because we will get hungry again soon. Okay, first things first, let's make our repair tool. Oh, we need the cave sulfur and titanium, which we did put away. So I'll give me one of those, and give me one of those. Tools. Repair tool. Okay, so... Uh, we were going to look at the tank. That's right. So, standard O2 tank takes glass and titanium. Oh, okay, so we don't need that. Uh, so, to make glass, we just need two quartz, which we already had in our inventory, actually. And it may have been two titanium or one. I'm not sure. But let's make that glass really quick. And we got our first OT tank. Nice. So what's the next one going to take to make? I think this is the one that... No, this one only takes two glass and four titanium and silver ore, which we haven't found silver ore yet, but we shouldn't... It shouldn't be too hard to find. So... Oops. What do we need to make the sea glide then? A battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. See, this is why I wanted to make sure we got plenty of copper. So we do have plenty of copper to do what we need to do. We're going to need to make a battery, copper wire, and lubricant, which the lubricant we will actually get in here in just a second. Um, and then another thing we want to make sure we make soon is the knife. And so the same stuff that's going to allow us to make the lubricant will allow us to make the silicon rubber there. So let's go out and get that really quick. So we have all those materials, we can get all the stuff crafted that we need. So we're going to come over here to the uh, the creep vine area. That's what these things are called. And on these are these like yellow seed looking things. 
there they are right down there so those are what we need to make the lubricant and the silicon rubber so we'll just kind of swim down here really quickly grab three of them because I think that's all we're gonna need there are stalkers all throughout here so come on thank you all right let's get back to the ship or the pod Okay, so we need to make a lubricant and silicon rubber. The game locked up. There it goes. Okay, silicon rubber. And. Okay, so it used to be two of these for a lubricant, but. Uh, whoa! I made two silicon rubber? Interesting. Okay. They must have changed the rates or something. Because it didn't used to be that way, so we're gonna we're gonna need one of those. Yeah, um, do we have? We do not. Okay, so we're gonna need one titanium out of here for sure. And now we should be able to make four more titanium from the metal salvage, and this should allow us. Well, oh, that's right. We need to make the copper wire and the battery next. That's right. So we need to get those acid mushrooms out of storage too. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, <laughs> and now we should be able to make a sea glide. Mm hmm. Nice, and we should also be able to make a survival knife. Oops, yay. Okay, so the sea glide is going to help us a lot. It's going to let us move around the, like the water a lot faster. Um, so it's really good that we have that. So we probably should also make a spare battery, though. Um, but let's repair the ship for right now, the pod. We're online. Let's repair this. this is communications array here, or relay. Oh my god. Nine ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine hours. That's a long time. Oh, another message. This is an automated distress signal from LifePad 4. Coordinates attached. Since Planet Fall Pod has not sustained damage, no crew members have disembarked. Zero life signs have been detected on board. Recommend investigation. Huh. I think that gave us a little signal thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like message after message. This is Life Pod 17. Coordinates attached. Looks like the Seamoth Bay collapsed around me. Do not attempt rescue without laser cutters. You only add to the body count. Life Pod 17 out. Interesting. And it looks like we probably got, yeah, we have another signal now. So um, <clears throat> these signals, what they do is they allow you to see locations of different things. On your map, you see here is Life Pod 17, 411 meters away. And over here is Life Pod 4, 850 meters away, which sounds like an interesting thing to do, which we will get to. Um, maybe not this episode. Um, 
Definitely in the future, though. We just got a lot of crafting to do still this episode. We want to get everything set up so we're ready to go. Um, yay, another one of these. We probably should use that because we're a little low on health. Okay, good. Now, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and drop out and see what this is all about. Oh, yeah, we're going to make another battery. So what we can do is see how much faster. I mean, so much faster. And you know what? I think we might be able to find some silver over here, too. There's some copper ore, some salt. Yes. Titanium. Copper. Oh, we didn't want the lead, but that's okay. take this quartz here so if I remember correctly there may be silver ore in here right here yeah and gold and more silver nice let's get out of here we're gonna need to get some oxygen check for some more copper And we jump out of the water. Oh, 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 that's a stalker. He's coming after me. Oh my gosh, he's really coming after me. So there appears to be a glitch right now. Oh, there appears to be a glitch right now where the, um, when you come out of the water with the sea glide in hand, it no longer shows up um, in front of you. So like, watch, I jump out of the water and I'm back underwater. Now, there's no sea glide in front of me, which is nice because it clears the screen, right? But the problem is at nighttime when the um, when it's dark, the sea glide actually has a light on the front of it, which is really nice. Um, but when it does that glitch, uh, you don't have that light anymore, which is kind of a pain. All right, so I think we have plenty of copper now. Let's head back to the pod, which is over here. Ooh, salt. You know, we might want to get some peepers, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, we need these things. Come here. Yes. Isn't that weird? It just, like, pops out and pops in. It's, like, there and then it's gone. Maybe it's just a certain state that it's in. All right. Wow, you really fly out of the water when you have this thing out. Come here, you little bastard. Let me pick up an extra mushroom, and I didn't want to. Come back here. There we go. Alright, let's drop the stuff we don't need, like the lead and the extra mushroom. Okay, first things first, we need to make sure we're fed, so... Cured peepers... I wish there was a craft all button on this. That would be really nice. Okay. So let's uh eat oops. Let's eat. Uh, eat. We'll drink and we'll drink and we'll put these cured peepers away. We have these two cooked ones. They're probably going to rot, but eh, what can you do? So, we'll do that. Um, is there anything else we want to put away? I don't think so. We wanted to make that extra battery, right? There was something that we wanted to make with silver. I think it was... Was it? Yes. So we just need now... Do we have... So to make glass, it's two quarts. So to make two glass, we would obviously need four quarts, so which we do have. Let's do that. And then the only other thing we're going to need is, um, well, let's see, I'm not sure. 
Oh, we have everything. So we just have to unequip this. And we now have the high capacity O2 tank. Beautiful. So now watch the o oxygen on the left hand side there. Um, it's going to go up to, I think, 135, which is amazing. That's 135 seconds. So much better. Um, was there anything else that we were trying to do? Oh, the battery, yes. So we can make another battery that way. Um, is there anything else that we need right now? Maybe a habitat builder wouldn't be bad. So to make a computer chip, we need some table coral samples and some copper wire, which we can do. Right? And table coral samples. So to get those, those are all over the place. Um, we're actually going to use our knife for the first time. Right? Oh, not those, sorry. <laughs> like I said, it's been a little bit of time since I played the game. It's these ones over here. So we're just going to hit these guys, and they're going to fall off, and we're going to pick them up. Yep, just like that. Uh, lock up. There it goes. Okay. It's really laggy right now for some reason. Really framey. Okay. Um, there's the computer chip and habitat build builder. So we still need to make another battery, though. We just actually used our battery to make that habitat builder. That we, we wanted an extra one so that we would have an extra one in case our Seamoth battery ran out. So let's grab a couple more of these guys. Pop back in here. And we'll make that extra battery. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the... Well, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to keep jumping in and out of the pod, but... Um, I'm thinking it might be a good time to make uh, something with the habitat builder. The reason why I say that um, is because then we can add some more storage because we're running out of space to put things right now and that's not good. So we're going to need some more quartz to do that because we're going to have to make a couple of things that require glass and just quartz in general. There's some more down here. Okay. So let's make a little bit of glass. And we'll grab our habitat builder. Let's find a nice little spot down here. It's kind of flat. Let's see. What do we like down here? There's the Aurora. Um, what about down here? This is kind of like stalker territory, right? So it may not be the best of ideas, but we'll. This is just a temporary base for right now, just until we get, um, just until we get some other things unlocked. Right, so, oops. And we need a way to get in. So here's what's going to be interesting. We're actually not going to have power until the sun comes up, which is... Not the best, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, not, not, nothing else we can really do about it at, the mo at this moment. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production yep, I know. Alright, so while we're in here, let's take a look here. Let's make uh, a wall locker. Um, we may need titanium. No, we need quartz. Okay. So once the sun comes up, we'll have oxygen in there. Okay. What do we have here? 
Nothing. I'll click something. Oh, crash fish, crash fish, crash fish. Luckily, with the sea glide, you can move fast enough to get away from them. And they are angry little guys. Hey, we got our first storage, which we can't really use right now because we have to get oxygen. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like that. I don't like probability of death. I want to live. I want to live in this beautiful world. I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's see here. We may... Well, so one of the things we're going to need, not to put away any spoilers, but there is going to be some problems with the radiation here in a bit. So one of the things we're going to need is a radiation suit. We already have the lead for it, which is good. We just need to get some creep vine samples. And we should be able to make a radiation suit. So we'll go do that right now. So we're going to need to make fiber mesh. And... Oh, there's a rebreather. I think that's new. So we're going to need two fire mesh. Okay, so I'm glad I got all those creep vine samples. And then we got to get our two lead from storage. What is this? Dive reel. I think I'm okay without a dive reel. I think I've heard that they're not really that great. Honestly, I think they have some problems. They're a bit buggy right now. Alright, so we have a radiation suit now. So, we can go exploring, and we can go to try to find some blueprints that will help us. Man, this game is so beautiful. I mean, just look at the scenery. I mean, they, the devs had to have put a ton of time in making these maps, or this map here, just like sculpting the landscape, and uh, it's just beautiful. So we already have a sea glide, so we don't need to scan the sea glide blueprints anymore. Ah, uh, he's so close to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so close. They didn't used to be by Rex. They used to only be in caves. They must have changed that. Okay. Some more sea glide. Yeah. Um, more sea glide. See, I like that, that they have a bunch of extras all over the place, but at the same time, it's like, I already have it. <laughs> what is this? Coffee vending machine? That's new. That's pretty cool. Let's get some of that. Beautiful O2. Let's come down here. Nothing here. Nope. I 
Looks like there might be another wreck over here. So the wrecks usually are the places that the blueprints kind of congregate or they're really grouped around. Like here's something. Looks like maybe a desk. Yeah, it's a desk. So there's a lot of aesthetical items in this too that you can scan and make and put in your base. You know, we'll get to that. Uh, it's just gonna take some time. I want to make sure that like the base that I make at the end here is. I think it's gonna gonna be a really nice base. I'm gonna really put some time into it. So, but for right now, for utility purposes, we're going to make kind of a a crappy base to begin with, just so we have some stuff to play, some place to put things, and some place to craft things. So, uh, is there an entrance into this wreck somewhere? Let's take a look. Oh, we are right on the Aurora. I hope this does not. I hope nothing crazy happens. Well, I'm right here. Okay, so we can repair this. Look at that wire moving on its own, and of course the game's locking up. Thank you. Okay, so we repaired this. It's gonna let us come in here. There's another sea glide fragment. Um, let's turn the light on. Oh, there's a chair. Um, so there, there's one other way that we can go here. Let's get some oxygen before we do this. So we'll go back down. So it looks like there's a vent here. Okay. I don't believe this door is openable. It is not. So what do we have here? I think it's a mobile, yeah, mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's really important. Is there any more? Ooh, that's not a sea glide fragment there. No, it is not. That's a stasis rifle fragment. Nice. So that's kind of like late game stuff there. That is another sea glide one, yeah. I like how they have them hidden, though. I think that's kind of neat. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck. Okay, good. I think that might be it. Yeah, that's all it's here. Let's get out of here. Uh, very disorienting. Very, very disorienting. Okay. Oh, there's another wreck, and there's a box here. So these boxes usually, yeah, they contain there's some water. Nice. Actually, need water. That works out. Um, nothing in here. It doesn't look like. What are you? Propulsion cannon fragment. Another one. Another one of those, same ones. But I'll take the salt, definitely. So we gotta be really careful because um, there's actually a giant creature around this area of the map called the Emperor Leviathan, and it's kind of an insta-kill thing. Like as soon as um, as soon as it sees you and aggro's on you, it will swim directly in your direction, <laughs> directly in your direction. And there's one right there. I don't know if you got a glimpse of it. I'll try to get a little closer so you can see it without him actually getting. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. We don't want anything to do with that guy. Let's just get out of here. Oh, that was scary. <clears throat> yeah. That was really scary. 
Oh, oh, go, go. Ah, uh, leave. It's all right. I'm not messing with you. You don't need to mess with me. Oh, we missed one of these little crates here. There's a power cell in there. Nice. Those are actually kind of expensive to build. What is this? Oh, metal salvage. It just looks funny. We're going to need some oxygen really quickly here. What I'd like to find, early game, is a battery charger. There's a battery charger that you can place on your wall that will charge your batteries. And I thought it was in this area. It may be over here, actually. I think it is over here. So that way we don't have to keep making batteries every time, which would really be helpful. So there's sand sharks around here. They're not, like, super aggressive. Well, they, I guess they are. They didn't used to be super aggressive, but it looks like they're much more aggressive now. There's some more salt. Uh, I thought I remembered the battery charger being over here. Well, regardless, here's bioreactor, which is actually a big deal. We'll take that. I'm not going to say no to that. So this will allow us, I think, if I remember correctly, this will allow us to um, generate power from organic materials, <clears throat> which is a kind of a big deal. Oh, yes, battery, yes, battery charger. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. I'm, it's okay. So we just need one more battery charger. Where are you? Where are you? Battery charger. All the salt. There's so much salt here. Uh, really? There's not another one? Let's go get some air and we'll come back down. And we'll look a second time. Because I really... It would make this the early game a lot less grindy. Which I know you guys probably don't really want to watch me grind out resources constantly. Oh my gosh, Sand Shark. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't think we're going to be in luck here. I think. What is that? Oh, another bioreactor fragment. Nice. We already have it, so we're just going to get titanium from scanning it, but that's okay. Maybe over here we'll find the other battery charger fragments? There's a table. I gotta eat somewhere, right? Gotta have somewhere to eat. Might as well be on a table. Alright, there's a forklift. You can't scan the forklift, unfortunately. I would love to. Trust me. It's something that I think would be amazing to have. Oh, there's a reef back. Okay, so let me get up and get oxygen, and then I will introduce you to the reef back. One of my favorite animals in Subnautica. So, this is the reef back. Giant, giant, I'm not even sure what it would be considered. Um, they're docile, they're, they don't attack, they're not aggressive, even in, I mean, if I, know, if I was to like, I hate doing this because I like these guys, but they don't care. They also have things that like float on their back, um, and there's ways for you to get stuff from them, but I think it's kind of buggy right now. But yeah, they're really neat. They make really loud noises too. 
Well, let's continue our search for the battery charger fragments. Wow, it's getting really loud. Oh, there's a life pod over here. See how neat the music is? Super, super cool. Oh, they're jelly rays. Oh, this is a mushroom biome. It's so beautiful. This game is so beautiful. Oh, we're out of, uh... Yep, we were out of power in our battery. Good thing we had another one. What about to be out of oxygen again? We'll check this life pod out here in just a second. Let's go up and get some more oxygen. Oh, there's some stuff glowing down here. It's probably a, um, maybe a node or something. What do we have here? This is a data box. Ultra glide fins. So I think those are made in the modification station, which is a late game thing. So we'll take a look at that later. Abandoned PDA. They sure changed that quite a bit. It looks really different now. So let's look in here. What's in here? Flares, which we don't need. There's lead. We'll read the PDA in just a minute. Let's. Uh, there's another one. They do look. They look a lot different. We'll we'll read it soon. I want to try to find. That battery charger fragment. Where did that wreck go that we were at previously? Is it this one? Yeah, I think it was this one. Up oh, there it is. Battery charger fragment. And a trash can. Nice. So we can now head back. We can make our battery charger. Yep, let's do that. Okay, and we're back. So we got back to the, the the pod, and we can now make the battery charger. Which I th or yeah, let's take a look and see what it's going to take to make that. So we're going to need a computer chip, copper wire, and glass. So um, let's take a look. I think we have yeah. There's that stuff to make the glass. Let's see if we can make a computer chip, um, a table coral sampler, which we just need, and copper wire. So. Let's go get those table coral samples. No, we don't need another one. Okay. All right, so I think that's everything that we need to make the uh, battery charger. Copper wire now. That's right, because we need it. we made the copper wire for the um, computer chip, but it also used we need it for this too. So we need one more copper, which we have. <laughs> Perfect. So let's find our base. Where did we place it? Should be just right over here somewhere. I don't think I moved that far away from the pod. That that moon. And that moon is beautiful. Oh, that's right. It's over here. Here it is. All right. Okay, so we drank some water. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've never been that low on water before in this game. So let's make this battery charger. 
Okay. So we should be able to just place our battery in there. Yeah. And then it has like a little indicator. There it goes, it's going up. Nice. Alright. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for coming to hang out. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a definite... Oh, oh. Oh my god, that sounds pretty crazy. Well, uh, like I was saying, um, so I don't know if there's going to be a definite schedule on the videos. Uh, I'm going to definitely try to at least put a, put out at least two or three a week. Um, my, my goal eventually is going to be um, one a day, but that may take a little bit of time, a little bit time, time to get used to, like how to edit the software, or edit the videos, and um, you know, diff different things like that. But, um, but yeah, so just keep, uh, keep an eye out if you like this, and subscribe and hit the like button. And, um, you know, I'll keep playing Subnautica. We'll go through it and have a bunch of fun. See you later.